For this lesson, our focus standard comes from grade 7, Geometry, Standard B. Solve real life and mathematical problems involving angle measure. Our topic comes from Analyzing Geometry Relationships Missing Angle Puzzles. Our essential question is, how can we use angle pair relationships to find missing angle measures? Please take a moment, pausing the video if you need to, to copy down the topic and essential question in your header, along with today's date, sub your question column, and your note column, and resume the video when you're ready to begin. So I always like to remind students that before proceeding with this lesson, it may be a good idea to review your notes from this unit called Naming and Classifying Angles before you continue on with this video lesson, because we're going to make use of the vocabulary and some of the classifications about what it tells us about angle measurement to be able to figure out this puzzle. And I have to say this is one of my favorite things in geometry are missing angle puzzles. So with that said, let's begin and look at our problem. Take a moment to draw this in as precisely as you can. Um, and then this is going to be all that's on this sheet of paper, so feel free to use a whole sheet of paper to make this drawing, and then we're going to be doing some calculations with it. But as you're drawing this, notice, aside from giving you the lines and the names of the points on the line, like this is point A, that there's only been two angle measurements that are given. And from the setup and the angle measurements that are given, we're going to want to find all the missing angle measurements. So pause the video if you need to draw this in and then resume the video when you're ready to talk about finding all the missing angles in this puzzle. Alright, so as I mentioned they gave us two angle measurements. Here's the first one. So they're telling us that the measure of angle DCE D C, E, this distance here is 30 degrees. Can you see the other angle measurement they gave us? Yeah, it's with this symbol here. They're naming the angle A, C, F is how many degrees? 90, that's right, because they use this symbol that this is a right angle and we know that all right angles measure 90 degrees. So we want to make sure we've added that too. So because of the symbol we know that the measure of angle ACF is 90 degrees. So those are the two pieces that were given and now we need to find the rest of these missing angle measurements. There's three more to find. So the one I like to start with is this angle right here, angle FCE. I sometimes refer to it as angle ECF. But I think that this one is the next easiest to find. Can you think of why? Well, a couple of things to note. Since this angle is 90 degrees, then we know that angle D, C, F also has to be 90 degrees because they're on the straight angle of angle A, C, D. So if this much is 90 degrees, then we know that this other part right here, this also has to be 90 degrees. So that means that we have a pair of what? Complementary angles right here. So that would be important to note that we know that angle F, C, E, and angle D, C, E are complementary angles. That means that their sum adds up to 90 degrees. And if we know one of the angle measurements, we can find the other. Go ahead and pause the video to do that now. So you might remember from our video lesson on complementary and supplementary angles that we could think about this as being uh, FCE being the X degrees that we don't know. And so our setup might be X degrees plus 30 degrees 
from over here is equal to 90 degrees. Now if you haven't gone ahead and done so, go ahead and solve to see if you can find this missing angle measure. That's right, it would be 60 degrees because once we subtract 30 from both sides, we see that we get x by itself and 90 minus 30 is 60 degrees. So now we know all three of these bottom angles. We just have the top two to find. Now there's a couple ways to do it, but one way that I think is a good way to do it is again to use this information about angle D, C, E. We know it's 30 degrees. Can you find an angle that is a vertical angle pair? With angle DCE, can you find the vertical angle? Because if we can find the vertical angle, that helps us find another angle measurement. Well, vertical angles, you might remember me talking about being like the bow tie angles. So if this is one side of the bow tie, here's the knot in the center, the shared vertex, this would have to be its vertical angle pair. If these are vertical angles, what we know about vertical angles is not only how to find them by their location, but that they also have to be equal in measure. So angle A, C, B has to be equal to the measure of angle D, C, E because they're classified as vertical angles. So that gives us another angle measurement without even having to do any calculations. That's right. It's going to also be 30 degrees. So now we've marked that. So at this point, four out of our five angle measurements are now found. We only started with two. So let's see if we can figure out this last angle. Angle B, C, D. Can you find any information that would help us figure that out? I can think of two ways, but I think the easiest is to find a supplementary pair. So I use the fact that I noticed that this is a straight angle right here. And so that means that angle A, C, B must be supplementary to angle B, C, D. Now if you notice that it is also supplementary to angle D, C, E, the work is going to be really similar. It's just how we name the angles. So let's go ahead and get to work. Your setup might look something like this. Because we know they're supplementary, we can name the angle, the measure of angle BCD as being our unknown angle measurement of Y. And since we know that ACB is 30 degrees, we know that 30 degrees plus this unknown measurement of Y has to equal 180 degrees. So if you haven't gone so and done done it yet, go ahead and solve this equation to find our last missing angle measure. That's right, it would be 150 degrees because from our setup we can then subtract 30 from both sides and y would be equal to 150 degrees. So with this setup, even though we are only given two angle measurements, we were able to use our angle classifications and our angle pairs to find information to figure out all of the angle measurements. That concludes our video for today. Please make sure that your notes are complete with showing all work and come ready to try more problems like this in class.